Hello everyone, so today we're going to be going over the Legatus Pack 2950, but before we get into it, I really want to thank Renovate for giving me this footage and allowing me to use it as it's incredibly hard to come across Legatus. I did ask Concio support, support, but as we know, it is sometimes a little slow at, for them to get back because they're quite busy, so we're just going to get straight into it. Um, I also want to thank our channel members and our um, patrons so we got here the Praetorian and Fateless you've got Adominus your A12345 and Prevectus you've got Real Donald Dump and Reynold Rosenthal thank you so much to you guys for supporting the channel uh, if you want your name in that list go check out the links in the description become a channel member uh, so pretty much we're going to be going over Legatus um, join our discord server I want you to go in there and come up with some suggestions because I got a suggestions channel and I just want to hear from you guys a little bit more and in the comments so we're going over Legatus I <laughs> know I'm full of it today um, this is gonna be a quite a long video obviously a lot of you aren't interested in this but for the people who can't afford this and are quite curious to see what is actually in this pack we're just going to be going over the basics of what includes in this pack and what you can pretty much get for your money. So you don't actually have to get there straight away. You can do it over a number of years, which a lot of people in the community have done, about eight or nine years. And a lot of people have got Praetorian that way, uh, Legatus, even Wing Commander. So, you know, it's not all about spending it all at once and just getting there immediately. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of wealthy people within this community that can do that. But obviously, there's a lot of us that can't. I, myself, uh, I'm going to be working on Legatus. I'm going to be getting there eventually. Uh, I want you guys to be there for the journey because obviously it's going to take me a little while. But I'm going to be in the Star Citizen community for, for quite a while. And for those of you who want to talk to me and if you see me in game, don't be afraid to approach me. I'm in the Spectrum forums all the time. I'm more than approachable. If you want to chat, we'll chat. We'll jump into voice channel. I have no problem with that at all. So there's a lot obviously in this pack. And there's a few things that you don't get. But we also want to just talk about the aspects of this pack, what you get in it, and just pretty much the exclusivity of the items that you actually get in there. Because I've actually gone through the list and found that there's a lot of stuff in here that you, some a normal people can't get. We had to get in really early to get this stuff. So if you want to see that, just stick around because I will be going through a detailed list of the pricing, uh, what you get, and pretty much everything that comes in this pack. So obviously there's another one coming later on next year, 2951. It'll be an updated version with the latest uh, ships and whatnot. So stick around and we'll go through the list with you guys. So obviously there's a lot of ships in this pack. You've got the Javelin, the Hull E, the Orion, uh, both the Krakens, both Idris's actually, and you get the Idris K kit as well. Now I've included the uh, 600i Executive Edition. I've also included the F8 um executive and the f8c now the reason i've done this is because obviously you get them on the way to legatus now 600i executive is legatus six uh f8c executive is praetorian f8c is wing commander so i'm working on my way to the f8c right now but i've got to get to uh space marshal so whatever um obviously there's a lot of ships here you don't get the best of show editions you don't get uh some of the new ships that have come out in 2951 so that's where sort of the Legatus gets updated, I would say, and you'd have like 2949, then you have 2950, and then 2951, whatnot, and so forth. So, obviously, there's a lot of ships here, and there's a lot of space whales in this game. Now, the reason I say this is because how are they going to man the ships? How are they going to control these fleets? So, looking at this as a logistical point of view, you're going to need a lot of people. 559. So let's just call it 560 people. That's a lot of people. It's also not that bad. Because I know that some people will buy ships. And I know a few people that do it. And I might do it myself. But they buy ships based on the amount of people that can crew them. Now, I buy ships because I want to support the game. I would just want that ship. <laughs> and it's just sort of building that status in the game, isn't it? So it's all about how you sort of put that game into aspect now these people can obviously afford it now it's taken a lot of these people years to gain this status but there is a massive ship list here and it's pretty much every single ship in the game it's just you don't get the um, you don't get the raven as well as so there's obviously ships in here that you don't get you don't get the dragonfly star kitten which is obviously a um, sort of a limited ship. It's something that people uh, sort of sought after. They they look for it, um, but obviously 
The only time I know that I had access to it is when they did Invictus. So I decided to use it during that period of the time. But obviously it was only temporary. Um, there's people obviously out there that have it permanently. So you get the Ballista Snowblind um, and you get the normal Ballista. I don't know if you get the other Ballista. I'm not, I couldn't find it. But you know, there's, there's a few things in there. Uh, you also don't get the Mustang Omega, which was another limited time sort of ship. Um, but I guess it is what it is. So yeah, you don't get the Saber, um, you don't get the Saber Raven, which was another limited ship. So, obviously, like I said, there's a lot of ships here. There's a lot that you can do with this fleet. Um, you've literally got everything. You get the Phoenix Emerald also. Um, you get a lot of different things as well. I was going to put this up on the screen, but you obviously, with the Inferno and the Iron, you get two different skins. So, you get the Ember and the Radiance. You get the Geo Costco helmets. You get the Thundercloud skin. For the Perseus, you get the Night Runner skin for the MSR, you get the Vulcan skins, you get the Hornet F7A upgrade kit, you also get the Idris K upgrade kit. Now we're going into like a version here. Now uh, a member named Dragon City actually made this himself, so thank you so much for him. He posted this in um, my concierge thread asking if people had access to the Guardus 2951, but obviously that doesn't exist. So you got sort of split up into different manufacturers. So you got Aegis Dynamics here, obviously showing you the, the standalone price, the concept price, and the difference between the two, and how much your the difference is of standalone and concepts. So obviously there's a lot of money here. Um, it's it's insane to look at sometimes it's sort of a little it's a little overwhelming but you got the blister here you've obviously got all your excess like extras here which we'll go through as well so like i said the f7c i would say you could turn that into the f7a the military version some so you're not supposed to you not know, actually a lot of people don't have access to it only a very limited number amount of people um have access to it so you get the merchant man you get the defender which i've updated the prices because obviously they went from 450 to 500 um so it actually, as I updated this, it updated that list there as well. So uh, bear that in mind. You got the Pioneer. So that's another capital ship that a lot of people um, struggle to get. You got the Iron Inferno, C2, M2, A2, which these prices have been updated for the C2, M2. Obviously, A2 is not out, so it hasn't actually been. Uh, it's still in concept price, which is still heavily uh, priced. So I'd say they probably go to 740, maybe 750, maybe 725. And you got the yellow jacket, you got the normal dragonfly, you've got the two krakens here, which obviously haven't changed the price because they're still in concept. Nothing's really changed about that, but I would expect them to go up in the future sometime soon. Hull D, Hull E. Now, all these prices, they sort of add up. You get the medivac as well, which I'll do a video on how you can actually unlock that, uh, how you can um, get to the point where you can acquire it. <clears throat> so obviously a lot of these manufacturers are pretty expensive with their ships right now if you go to drake and you were to get the drake pack it would cost you a little bit but obviously there's a couple of ships i don't think there's a oh no it includes every drake vehicle or drake ship the pack does so this is probably one of the most efficient ways to get every ship without really having to um, think about pricing but obviously you have to have the money there to do it um, obviously we'll go over the endeavor modules and the retaliator base modules as well because I think that does come with it so you because you do get access to all the modules so you get the Vandal Sith as well which in my mind I'm not a ma major fan of this thing it's actually quite horrid but it does kick ass a little bit so the overall pricing is quite hefty so eventually your ship total in the standalone is $37,750 the difference of $3,165 the concept prices at $34,585 and then overall $40,000 and $37,084 in concepts now going back up the list to everything else there's obviously a lot of extras in this and the ship package does cost you thirty six and a half thousand us dollars so you effectively you're saving about a thousand dollars there in total or a couple of grand not a lot i know but you do get a lot of stuff in here so you obviously get two 600i name reservations now i would believe that you would get the reclaimer the 890 um the msr name reservations as well you also get a drake corsair name reservation so we know that's not far from being released uh, you also get the m34 and 
um, Faction 9 Baton, which I know for a fact was supposed to be packaged with the Cutlass Blue yet once upon a time. Now, the Electro Skin Hull, as I believe, is probably like an invisibility cloak. I'm not 100% sure, but that's sort of what I can make it out to be. If you know any different, let me know down in the comments section because I would be really interested. And you get um, skull and crossbone skin. I would believe that would probably be for the cutlass. Uh, you got limited dust devil skin, so they're for the um, cyclones, uh, the cyclone ships. And then you obviously get the tumble nova skins, origin X1 skins for all their origins. Then you get an alternative uh, eclipse skin. Now you get those two Aegis Vulcan skins, you get the Night Runner skin. Uh, Snowblind, Ballista, the Saltise for the Nautilus, uh, Radiance and Amber, Ember for the um, Crusader and Res. You obviously get the Talus and the Carbon Edition of the um, Argo Mole, and then you do get the Expedition Carrick. So that's another thing there. I don't know if it actually just comes as a paint or if you actually get that ship individually across from a normal um, Carrick. So there's that to think about as well. You've got all these different paints down here. Nothing really too interesting. I mean, not a great deal to look at here. But obviously, this is all the major stuff. You've got Triple C uh, Aves as well. Uh, you got Dark Bear Helmets. So, so that's the Fieldsbury Bear Helmet. So that's another one that you get. So don't um, just keep that in mind. You get what six of them? Oh my god! So you get six of them. That's crazy. Now these are just generic um, armors and whatnot, and vests and helmets. So check those out if you want. Uh, you get a set of nine campaign skins as well. Um, like I said, these skins aren't really important. Now you get a hammerhead serial stamp, uh, unique Polaris serial stamp, the Razor LX and EX uh, serial stamps. You also get a unique uh, Eclipse serial stamp, uh, Nautilus serial. And then here you get decorations and whatnot. Now these is this is where your vehicles and modules come in. So obviously you got your F7A military, your Hornet upgrade kit. You got your Grey Cat PTV. You get two bio domes, I believe. Um, two super colliders, I think. I, it's just how I'm putting it together. Uh, you get all pretty much all of the modules, and then the retaliator. You get the front and rear. Um, cargo modules you get the dropship module uh, you get the living modules and then you get the Idris K kit with everything in it pretty much and then you get outposts in this as well so you get the UE land claim um, license lot parcel you get the UE land claim license estate parcel you get a grey uh, grey cap lot geotac planetary beacon uh, the estate geotac x planetary beacon and the outpost construction material so I guess that would be for the pioneer outpost um, you get a bunch of posters and models and whatnot so that's a eventually it's going to cost you a lot of money so saying that so the value obviously and then you got the estimated value so our value is two thousand dollars value say five hundred dollars so that's sort of i think it's going over the actual value of how much it will go towards the legatus pack itself so you, you're saving a little bit of money there but at the end of the day you have to realize that this is a big pack this is for the elite of the elite this is for the people who have built up their ship, their fleets, and decide, you know what, I'm going to scrap it all. I'm going to get Legatus because I can get some of the most exclusive ships, especially being an Idris M. Now, they were supposed to be available to the most um, earliest backers, as I believe, which I wish I was one because i seen this and I got in late. So, you get that. Uh, you also get... Um, a lot of just generic ships, but at the end of the day, if you do have an org and you have the manpower, I mean, you can, you should get it. I know a lot of people here don't want to get it or don't think it's worth the money, but those who do, let me know down in the comments because I'm really interested to see who has this. I mean, you don't have to because obviously it, you're not obligated to say anything. Um, you can stay private, but a lot of people do try and flex, but they don't really have a fleet at all. So, but I know. The people who do so um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this there's a lot of ships in here that obviously you might not need but at the end of the day it's every single ship in the game you're supporting the game it might take you a long time to get there you might just buy it out straight away but it's completely up to you let me know down in the comments what you think now with this i'm trying to cover all aspects of star citizen like whether it be small packages or you know legatus pretty much so from A to Z, 
I'm trying to cover it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Baron. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get those notifications, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you in the verse.